What we said in the aftermath of that postponement, uh, we pointed to the meeting between President Biden and President Xi, the meeting they had in Bali uh, in November of, of last year, where there was uh, an expansive uh, agenda on the table. It was an agenda that had different elements, but the crux of that agenda uh, was the priority we place, both of our countries place, in seeking to uh, see to it that uh, competition doesn't veer into conflict. Uh, and our shared efforts to build a floor on the relationship and ultimately to establish guardrails, uh, to see to it that areas that are potentially conflictual uh, don't actually uh, verge into the realm of conflict. Uh, we made the point uh, in the aftermath of the uh, decision to postpone the visit that uh, it wouldn't be, that a visit in the aftermath of uh, the high altitude surveillance balloon wouldn't be conducive uh, to an agenda uh, along those lines. Uh, we still have lines of communication with uh, our POC counterparts. We wish we had more and in some ways deeper uh, lines of communication with our uh, POC, PRC counterparts. Uh, but the secretary, when the time is right, when the conditions are in fact conducive uh, to a meeting with his counterparts in the PRC, uh, is prepared to, to travel. Um, this is a decision that we are going to uh, discuss internally with, uh, within the department and across the executive branch, uh, but also uh, I expect there will be, continue to be conversations between the United States and, and our, our PRC counterparts on this.